Good morning. So today we are going to pick up some Welsh Harlequin ducklings and we are super excited. Super are you guys excited to yeah. have ducklings on the farm again? Yeah. So our Pekin Neville, you know that he was a she, if you watched our last video, has started giving us eggs, but she does not have a Mr. Neville so those are not fertile and our Muscovy is still laying so she hasn't started sitting yet but we're so excited to bring a new breed to the homestead ah uh, they're so pretty wait till you guys see them they're so pretty yeah we haven't seen them so. story are you excited uh, too yes i'm so excited <laughs> all right so i went to the store and i bought acorns bananas cupcakes donuts eggplants bananas cupcakes donuts eggplants excited? Yes. <laughs> so ready to be out of the car for sure. There they are. Hi beautiful babies. So we can't know for a hundred percent but it should be one male and three females. So right when Welsh Harlequin ducklings hatch the females tend to have yellow down the side of their bills and the blacks or the boys will have um, mostly black. So like this one has a mostly black bill. Oh, I'm sorry, it's this one. I don't know. <laughs> it's that one, the tiniest one. Yeah, so this one right here um, is supposed to be our male and then these should be all females. Wait, that one has a but black I'm kind of too. wondering about this one. That it has a black bill might too. be a boy. I don't know. We'll find out. At least we have both. <laughs> but we're excited. You guys ready to go home? We got their heat socks. Oh, this is hot. They suck them in the microwave for us, and we're going to cover them up and drive all the way back. Mm -hmm. All right. They're home, safe and sound, and their new brooder. Figuring out real quickly that they like the food and the water in here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Welcome home. Four little ducks in a row. Hmm. Also, I'd like to point out that we're moving up in the brooding world because we got these actual chick feeders and chick waters instead of food containers instead of little tupperware containers like we've always used they've always worked well for us but i figured it's time to be a little bit more legit <laughs> we're gonna be raising and a, more stuff a huge farm. brooder lamp with the safety net on it which made me feel a lot better So the olive egger chicks are also doing really well. I love this one with all the white patches on its face. It's the only one like it. It's my favorite. It's your favorite too? Yeah. But they're a little scared of us, so they're all piling into the corner. <laughs> but they're doing good too. All right, so we have the incubator full Two brooders full, a Muscovy duck on a nest, a pregnant goat. <laughs> we got it all. We got it all. <laughs> no, but all 
really, I am so excited about all the new life on the farm. It is my favorite, favorite time of year to watch um, everything come alive between the animals and the garden, which is going to be our next big project. So make sure you are subscribed <laughs> because we are going to be building some little raised beds this year just to get us established. And then it'll be a work in progress for that dream garden, you know, but we're going to make do. We're in a little bit of a rush because it's planting season already and we are starting with bare bones. So anyway, stay tuned to see that progress. Those aren't your babies. What are you doing? They're all jammed up under there. <laughs> Look at this white one. Did you guys figure out how to get warm in there? Can I hold it? Uh, I guess you can try. Let the mamas watch. They're very curious as to what you're doing. I'd love to take a look at that one that we thought was pointed and see if it actually came out pointed. Oh! Oh my gosh! My gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Mmm. She has like... It's been chewed on. Oh my gosh! Wait, stay Goodness. Look at that fatty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think this is the pointed one. Well, it has pointed ears. Turn it around so I can see it. Be oh. still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. So we're kind of wondering if this one is a checker giant. Oh my gosh, look at your little dots in front of her nose. Um, way huge and checkered and about the size of those that are also checkered. I'm wondering if a baby got stolen or laid in the wrong nest. <laughs> I mean, they do have the same dad, so it's possible that she's in the right nest, but... I mean, someone's obviously caring for her. She's huge, so. It's These little ones totally scared me. It made me jump. I wish I was recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went to pull the fur out, and they were just like, oh my nutso. Jeez. They're huge. Yeah, those ones are much bigger. That's the checker giant, Mama. Mm. Baby, you're big. That's a big one. Oh, They're also crazy. <laughs> It's so funny. Their bodies look so, like, muscular. <laughs> Alright, let's put them back. Wait, I want to see this one. That one looks really spotted. He was cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at you. Look at the spots. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We might keep you. <laughs> We're keeping this one. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. It looks like a girl to me. Turn her around so I can get a picture. That is so cute. Look how cute she is. You did such, you did a, such good a good job, job Mama. Good job. All right, go ahead and put them back. He's so cute. <laughs> They're like resting. They're little noises. Oh my god. They're probably very close Look at this to this one. What? It has like two little dots on the side of his nose. Oh, that's the one you picked up earlier that I said was probably a keeper too. Mm -hmm. That one that had the identical spots. <laughs> so cute. All right, guys, we'll leave you alone. It's the first time we've got a really good inside look into what's going on. All right, guys, so this little duckling and his three little mates that we brought home today are Welsh Harlequin ducklings. They are a beautiful duck. I will try to put an image up here so you can see how they look once they are fully feathered in, but they are a beautiful duck. They're actually really great layers and upwards of over 200 eggs a year. 
so rivaling some of the lower producing chickens even, which I am super excited about. We more so got them for hatching and selling chicks and then also meat, but knowing that their egg production is so high up there is so reassuring that they will be worth it. We drove two and a half hours to get them because actually they aren't the most popular, um, or I shouldn't say popular, but the most readily available breed. And in Florida, there's very few breeders um, that I'm aware of. And so it was worth the drive. So our plan is to have a breeding program with them. And again, sell the ducklings um, for income on the homestead. But let me tell you a few facts about them. So the main reason for their ability to lay so many eggs a year is their background from coming from khaki Campbells, which are one of the best layers as far as ducks go and they actually originated from them. It is a color mutation from khaki Campbells so they get those great egg laying, egg producing genetics from the khaki Campbell. Also they are really well known for um, going broody and hatching out their own eggs which will be nice because fewer eggs in the incubator and less work for us. Now it's definitely a growing breed as people discover how gorgeous they are and also how productive they can be on your homestead. So we are super excited to have them and I hope you will follow us along so you can watch them grow up and see how beautiful they become and all the babies we make. And yeah, I'm super excited. What buddy? I'd be so happy if I duck. You're so happy that you have ducks? Mm -hmm. Let me pet them. You want to pet them? Okay. You can try. Don't touch the light, okay? okay. Are you being gentle? I mean, I pet them. I mean, I pet them. You want to pet them? Okay, they're a little scared, buddy. Okay? Why? Why? They're just a little scared. It's okay. Did Why? you just burp? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so exciting. Don't you think it's so exciting? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you will subscribe so you can watch more chicken tender stuff.